Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here on our Patreon channel. And uh, I wanted to just share some things with you guys uh, a little bit deeper on some intel that I've been getting regarding uh, the situation going on in Europe. And some of this is things we've spoken about before. Um, Germany, in particular, has reached out to the President of the United States uh, in, in dire need of water. Uh, now, actually, right now, I've got a different thing up on the, on the thing. Let me pull this up here. Uh, just to give you an example right here on Twitter, uh, multipolar world order, Germany fears water shortage due to drought. And drought is part of it. 50% uh, of the EU territory has been in a drought situation. But if you recall, a little while back, we shared with you how that uh, this was right after uh, Paul Bagley had put out with Mike from around the world. He put out this map of um, different places of the earth covered in water and stuff, Florida being majorly covered in water, things like that. Uh, that was as a result of the water that's being forced up. But in other places of the earth, water will be, will just disappear into the ground itself. And, it, and it's mainly due to more of, um, well, what happens there is you have large cavities of water that are under the ground. And you have seismic activity, things like that. And that's causing some of these to open up and draw even the waters out that are in the wells under the ground. So... There's all kinds of climatic events that are happening on the earth. Now, from what I understand with, with Germany, it is due to drought. And when they contacted the president, they said to the president of the United States that they were in desperate need of water. Uh, they were asking our help here and uh, not just on water, but also on, on heating issues, uh, which I'll get into in just a moment there. The situation that they said to us is that they have, that their wells, they're not saying it to the public there, but their wells are nearly completely dried up. Now, they haven't fully dried up, but they're enough so that they considered it that they're officially out of water in Germany. This is going to make a tremendous crisis. Um, if you guys recall, I've said this even here in America that, you know, one of the big things that's been stressed to me is store up water. Um, that's Europe having this problem. And we know parts of the United States is in a big drought. Parts of the United States is just the other way around. It's, it's more than enough water. But the issue is going to come that eventually we're just not going to have the water that we need. We're going through some very strange um, events on the earth that are causing these problems. I know there's some people believe it's Planet X. Uh, Planet X is, I asked again about Planet X yesterday. I'm being told that it's still into the decade. It's not what people are seeing right now. It's, they, they say that's not it. Um, I, I can't say for sure myself. I, 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 I Trust that the intel is correct, but the situation that we are facing that's causing this catastrophic events on the Earth has more to do with CERN than, believe it or not, the Hydrant Collider. Uh, not just one, there's, I believe there's, what is it, five? Five or six? Six Hydrant Colliders? And they have most all of them up and operational. They are what is contributing to the collapse of the dimensions. So... These things are what affect our weather tremendously. Um, at any rate, going back over to, let's see here, maybe this is where it was at. Um, sorry about the dog there. Um, the fuel crisis in Germany is going to be devastating. Uh, let's see, Hal Turner, let's see how France warns natural gas prices to rise 500%, electricity to rise 1,000% in 2023. This is because Russia has cut off the, the, the gas to Europe. And, and of course, Europe is the main um, 
the only supplier really to Europe's gas and, and for their heating and stuff and for all the other needs that they have is, is Russia. So, uh, you know, it's kind of like tit for tat, so to speak. Russia has been sanctioned to death now for, for, gosh, what, almost a decade, if not, you know, if, if not, well, since 2014. So, yes, uh, they've been almost a decade now. Uh, and now that's coming back on us, uh, or on Europe, I should say. Now, Russia sanctioning Europe and, and making them pay the price over the issue over Ukraine. And this is what's causing this rise in natural gas. I know my wife has family there, and they can't afford to heat their homes uh, this winter. So what they're doing is buying more clothes, and they're just going to have to sleep bundled up at night. That's how bad it is. Um, so this is very devastating, what's happening to the people there. And, of course, it was Putin's strategy. It's what I was told it would be his strategy to um, force the European Union to accept a peace agreement over Ukraine. Now, Russia, of course, has taken a major loss in that war already. And I was told that this is only going to get much worse this winter. And uh, I was also, <clears throat> it was also uh, shared with me that, that Putin is a strategist and that winter is where he will do greater in a battle like this than in the, uh, the summer. So we'll have to wait to see how this plays out. And um, uh, going back uh, to the issue, though, Germany over this whole thing about the natural gas, et cetera, too. Um, of course, the article says they seize control of three Russian-owned oil refineries ahead of the looming EU deadline. But nonetheless, that's not really the issue. The thing is, is that, um, that I want to bring out here is that Germany now is cutting down a lot of what they call their black forest. Um, they're, they're cutting the trees, bringing the wood in, because they feel like that's the only way they're going to be able to heat anything, is using wood-burning uh, uh, furnaces in order to be able to heat the homes. And that is, uh, there are a lot of homes in, in Germany that uh, instead of using the, um, uh, the fuel-driven heat, uh, to run the boilers they actually have wood wood boilers in their homes so that was the other thing i was hearing and for germany to cut down the black forest that'll be an economic disaster in itself so there's a lot of crazy things that are happening uh, around the world and um I'll, I'll share these things with you as i can and uh especially as I learn more about it, especially things like in the case of the water, you know, the crisis there that everybody knows there's a water crisis, but they don't realize how severe it is. Just like in China, we, we, the issue about China was brought up once again, too, that, um, that China uh, is in a severe water crisis. They've been buying water from us now for quite a few years uh, from the Great Lakes coming in and sucking up huge amounts of water and taking it back. Uh, I'm sure that's going to stop eventually if it hasn't already stopped. <clears throat> uh, also, too, uh, Sister Rosa sent me an article. In fact, several of the articles I used today were from her. Uh, Ukraine carrying out assassinations in Moscow. There, there was an allegedly another attempt on uh, President Putin, and nobody really knows for sure if this one is actually true or not, but I can confirm that there have been several attempts on his life here in the past year. And, uh, and as a result, he is very, very cautious in everything he does now. Um, you know, he knows that somebody's trying to take him out and, uh, it's always normally from within. And so there, you know, he's doing, he doesn't trust anybody any longer. And so it's made it very difficult, uh, in that regards as well. And of course, the reason why they want to take him out is they want to get somebody in there that might be willing to. To, to negotiate and give Ukraine over to uh, to Zelensky the way the, the, the Jewish uh, backers really want. And so, uh, but, but there again, as I said, Putin even plays into the hand on that because Menachem Schneerson said they would kill the Russians and the Slavic people of Ukraine. So they are effectively doing exactly that. They are killing both the Russians and the Slavs on both sides of the war and making the people think 
that it's Russian aggression trying to take over what used to belong to them and that it is the, um, uh, the Slavic peoples believing that Russia is coming to their aid and at the same time they're just killing off the people they didn't want in the first place. And at the end of the day, Israel will end up controlling the state of Ukraine in the future. Uh, so even if Putin is unaware of what he's doing or that he's played into this hand, uh, there are still, it's still being done nonetheless. Uh, I'm Steve Benoon. You're listening to Israeli News Live on our Patreon channel. Uh, I will be updating you guys with some more things coming up uh, very soon, especially over this coming week. So uh, stay tuned and I trust the, the, the things that we share with you 